Assalamu alaikum. Uh, let's continue uh, our lesson for uh, chapter 5 which is in compressible flow. Uh, but before that, uh, let's uh, recall what we have learned in our period previous uh, lecture. Okay. Basically, in our previous lecture, we have uh, learned about the eccentric of uh, converging uh, diverging nozzle okay so and that uh, particular subtopic we uh, have identified uh, two condition okay so for eccentric uh, converging nozzle only converging nozzle there are uh, condition what we call choke will be happen uh, in that particular nozzle okay so what happened after this uh, the we uh, the flow is said to be choked so the magnum uh, so the mass flow rate flow rate uh, reach uh, a maximum value okay so it is all depending on the back pressure that we set uh, uh, referred to the inlet inlet pressure okay so after uh, reaching the critical pressure which is p uh, star uh, uh, at this stage the mark number equal to equal to one and then mass flow rate at this uh, choke condition will be a maximum value okay so uh, further lowering or decreasing the the back pressure uh, lower than uh, p critical will not give any effect to the maximum uh, to the mass flow rate and also to the uh, pressure okay so that is for the isentropic converging nozzle and then for uh, converging and diverging nozzle uh, we uh, have uh, identified what happened in the uh, uh, diverging section of converging and diverging nozzle okay so uh, if uh, we set uh, the back pressure at certain uh, pressure okay at certain uh, high pressure there are uh, what we call the condition of normal shock will happen inside the diverging nozzle okay once the normal uh, shock is uh, happen the uh, drop the sudden drop of velocity to subsonic level and a sudden increase in pressure will occur in that particular uh, diverging nozzle okay so uh, continuation from the what happened to the uh, diverging nozzle converging and diverging nozzle centropic converging and uh, diverging nozzle we further uh, expand the study to the shock what, what happened to the uh, shock wave and expansion wave okay so uh, for some back, back pressure values a broad changes in fluid properties occur in a very thin uh, section of a converging uh, diverging nozzle under supersonic flow condition uh, creating a shock wave so uh, now we will study what happened to the uh, shock wave and how it will affect the flow. Um, the first uh, shock wave that we have that we will be learning is about the normal shock wave. Okay, so normal shock wave means that it is a uh, shock wave that is normal to the flow uh, direction. Okay, and then uh, you have bear in mind that uh, what happened uh, during the shock wave it is uh, uh, highly irreversible. Okay, highly irreversible process okay so uh, meaning that at this stage uh, 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 during the shock wave uh, it is no more isen isentropic okay so no more isentropic mean that the entropy is not constant okay so entropy must be larger than entropy uh, upstream of the shock shock wave okay so as you can see in this uh, figure okay so this is uh, what happened during the shock wave okay so the mark number in the nozzle just upstream eh? upstream in it to the left 
of the short wave is about 1.3 Okay, boundary layers distort. Okay, so there are boundary layer, the boundary layer uh, effect of boundary layer distortion uh, to the shape of the of the normal shock near the walls and lead to the flow separation beneath dot beneath the shock. shock. Okay, so um, let's move to the next slide. Okay, so uh, uh, for this uh, normal shock, we assume it is a steady flow. Uh, with no heat transfer and then no work interaction and of course after no work and no heat it is no potential energy changes uh, in this particular analysis okay so uh, the conservation of uh, uh, the, uh, the equation that is uh, governed by this uh, uh, normal shock wave um, condition is uh, for example conservation of mass okay? conservation of mass which is uh, okay so conservation of mass state 1 and state 2 okay, state 1 state 2 uh, row 1 a1 v1 go to row 2 E2, V, V2. So that is the conservation of uh, conservation of mass, and then conservation of energy. So for this study, conservation of energy normally we define in terms of enthalpy, which is uh, enthalpy V1 squared over two equal to H2 plus V2 squared over 2 okay. So H1 plus V1 squared Basically it is equal to Stagnation property okay. So HO1, HO, HO2 okay. So what happened when HO1 equal to HO2 uh, Stagnation enthalpy equal to Stagnation um, Enthalpy at state 1 Stagnation enthalpy at state 2 uh, State 2 is constant So the temperature, stagnation temperature also Constant okay. So because H is defined as Cp T O one C P T O two C P is constant so T O one temperature stagnation temperature at state one and stagnation temperature at state two also uh, constant okay and then uh, linear momentum equation okay linear momentum equation uh, equation which is uh, area pressure sorry m dot v2 minus v1 and then increase of as i mentioned uh, it is no more isentropic so uh, uh, the entropy is not constant anymore so increase of uh, entro entropy okay so s2 minus s1 higher than zero okay so there is the governing equation that govern the uh, occurrence of uh, uh, of the normal normal show wave okay so as you can see in this slide okay uh, uh, this figure, okay, so uh, this is uh, control volume for this uh, short wave. Uh, mark number before the short wave is supersonic, really high supersonic, and then mark number after the short wave will be uh, sub, uh, sub subsonic, okay, will be sub subsonic, and then um, as you can see in this uh, figure. Uh, it is enthalpy versus entropy diagram there are two uh, curve okay the first curve okay the first curve this curve is known as funnel line and then the second curve is uh, relief relief line okay so funnel line okay so this uh, curve is plotted based on the combination of conservation of mass okay Com conservation of mass and energy energy relation okay so uh, it is the locus of state that have the same value of the stagnation okay so same value of the stagnation 
enthalpy and mass mass flux okay so now as you can uh, see uh, the uh, HO1 equal to HO2 stagnation enthalpy 1 equal to stagnation enthalpy enthalpy 2 okay and then the second line which is the combination between the conservation of mass okay also conservation of mass and momentum equation okay and then uh, uh, as a result of this combination uh, we come up with with the second line which is relief relief line okay so what you can see here okay so please uh, take note what you can see here the maximum okay the maximum uh, point okay the maximum point of these two and uh, these two curve represent Mach number equal to one okay so uh, repeat the maximum entropy for these two curve represent the Mach number unity which is Mach number equal to one and then uh, at this Mach number equal to one uh, above this line okay above this line it is represent subsonic flow which is uh, what happened after the uh, shock shock wave and then below the mark number one it is supersonic supersonic flow okay and then uh, let's see there are some information here oh no okay so uh, as you can see uh, there are interest uh, uh, two point of intersection between these two curve funnel line and relay relay line point one okay so point one let's uh, uh, give some notes at point one okay point one it is it represent uh, to the state before the shock okay represent state before the shock and then at state 2 okay state 2 it is represent state after uh, shock after state yes t after shock okay so there is um, uh, uh, what happened to this enthalpy to the entropy curve for the uh, um, normal uh, shock shock wave okay um, as you can see as I mentioned before after the shock wave okay of, uh, the flow is sub subsonic subsonic flow okay so the larger the mark number before the shock okay so the larger the mark number before the shock the stronger stronger uh, the shock will will be okay so if in the limited uh, in the limiting limited case of mark number equal to one, uh, the shock wave simply uh, becomes a sound sound wave. Okay, so there is additional note uh, for this uh, normal shock wave, and then um, uh, in the next example we will see uh, what happened to the what what is the effect of uh, supersonic mark number before the shock wave to the uh, subsonic mark, mark number after uh, shock the shock wave okay and then uh, now we move to the equation okay so uh, equation uh, the relation between various properties before and after the shock of an idea ideal gas so uh, t2 is static temperature uh, at state 2 which is uh, downstream of uh, normal shock wave and then state 1 is um, upstream of normal shape uh, shock wave okay so p2 over p1 and p2 squared uh, mark number after the shock shock wave so uh, this represents the intersection of the funnel and relief uh, relation uh, line okay and then this is the variation of flow properties across a normal shock in an ideal ideal case okay so uh, this is table a14 uh, so this okay so based on this table a14 it is a one dimensional normal shock function for an ideal gas with k equal to 
1.4 okay so what happen if um, what happen after the uh, normal normal shock first you know from previous lesson uh, when it uh, we exper uh, the flow experience uh, normal shock wave uh, the velocity must be decreased okay velocity must be decreased so that's why you can see velocity decrease and then Mach number also decrease so at which level Mach number will decrease below the Mach number 1 which is sub subsonic and then uh, pressure is increased and then as in previous slide what remain constant is enthalpy okay enthalpy uh, stagnation enthalpy before and after the shock wave is uh, constant the same goes for the uh, stagnation temperature which is remain constant however for the temperature for the static temperature it is increases okay it is increased because of the uh, kinetic energy uh, after the shock shock wave okay so rho is increased and entropy of course and en entropy are increased okay so uh, this is uh, equation that governs for uh, normal normal shock okay so my number one my number two represent a uh, number uh, upstream which is before the shock wave and number number two is uh, number after the shock wave or, or uh, downstream uh, the, the shock shock wave okay as you can see if my number one my number one so it is uh, identical unity and then if my number before the uh, my number uh, before the up uh, before the shock wave is 1.1 this is what happened to the my number uh, after the shock shock wave okay so as you can see here okay as you can see in this range uh, the larger the mark number before okay before the uh, shock wave we will get uh, lower um, uh, smaller mark number uh, subsonic mark number after the after the shock shock wave okay so that is uh, what happened to the uh, shock wave uh, in uh, converging diverging uh, nozzle okay so this is uh, one of uh, example uh, the air inlet okay so this is air inlet of a supersonic, supersonic fighter jet is designed such that a shock wave at the inlet decelerate okay decelerate uh, to the air uh, the air to subsonic velocity increasing the pressure and temperature of the air before it enter the engine okay so the slider uh, image of the blast wave which is expanding spherical uh, normal shock produced by the explosion of a firecracker denoted uh, detonated inside a metal can that set on stool okay so the microphone at the lower right sense okay this is the microphone sense the sudden change in pressure of the passing shock wave and trigger the microsecond flash lamp that exposed to the photo photo uh, photograph okay now uh, let's see this is uh, entropy versus mark number okay uh, this is mark number zero okay mark number uh, sorry uh, this is uh, entropy zero uh, this is impossible for the uh, uh, for impossible uh, uh, to have to experience normal shock before Mach number equal to 1 because at this stage the entropy is less than 0 okay so you can read here okay so uh, let's do some example for the shock wave in a converging diverging nozzle uh, if the air flowing through the converging diverging nozzle okay and uh, uh, for example 12.6 which is the previous example experiences a normal shock wave at the nozzle exit plane okay, nozzle exit plane as you can see here uh, determine the following after the shock after the shock which is uh, downstream uh, the stagnation pressure po2 okay so what we need to find is uh, PO2 stagnation pressure static pressure uh, static pressure is P2 and then static temperature which is T2 and static density which is um, uh, density rho 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 2 this is A uh, B the entropy change across the shock 
okay b is entropy change across the, sh the shock which is s2 minus s1 in this previous slide s2 minus s1 uh, cp ln t2 over t1 minus with gas constant uh, ln static pressure ratio okay p2 over p p1 and then c is the exit velocity v v2 and then uh, the last one uh, mass flow rate m dot for the flow through the nozzle approximate the flow as steady one dimension and as entropic with k1.4 from the nozzle inlet to the shock location okay and then air flowing uh, this is uh, how to find the solution uh, there are given m dot is given equal to 2.86 kilogram per second and then uh, this is what happened to uh, mark number one mark number one is before eh? so this is uh, at this condition before the shock wave mark number one is two which is supersonic uh, stagnation pressure one uh, state one is one megapascal uh, static temperature static uh, pressure and static uh, what's this uh, row okay this is row Okay, so row 1 equal to 1.002 kg per meter meter cube okay so now uh, if you are given this table okay table a14 you can straight away answer the uh, this uh, problem okay if the table is not given mean that this equation is given okay so now let's uh, consider you are given the table okay and then for your uh, own exercise uh, try to use this equation you will get the same answer okay so uh, mark number is given which is mark number equal mark number one equal to two okay so you can refer to the mark number one equal to two so this is mark number one equal to two Okay, so you can easily find row zero uh, stagnation pressure at state two, which is uh, you can, as you can see P O two over P O one. P O two over P O one ratio is zero point seven two zero nine. So P O two equal to zero point seven two zero nine multiplied by P O one is given. P O one is one mega. Pascal, okay. So you get PO, PO two. The same for P two, which is uh, this one, uh, static pressure ratio P two over P one. So four point five multiply. Uh, the ratio is four point five, and then multiply with P one, which is zero point one two seven eight mega mega Pascal. Static temperature two. Use this uh, ratio T two over T one. And then static density two row two over row one, you will be using this equation. Okay, uh, this number, this ratio. So uh, this is solution, uh, but based on that particular table, so you will get zero point seven two one megapascal, uh, zero point five seven five megapascal for static temperature, and then seven five zero kelvin for static um, temperature. And then uh, the static uh, density is 2.76 kilogram per meter meter cube. And then B, you are required to find the entropy change across the the shock. Okay, based on this equation, as I mentioned before, you will get 0.0942 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. And then the last one is uh, velocity. Velocity C is velocity two. Okay, so velocity two can be determined based on mark number. Okay, so mark number mark number two equal to v two uh, v over c c two. Okay, so v two equal to mark number two um, uh, multiply with c c two. Okay, so mark number two is zero point five seven seven four. This is mark number two. Uh, multiply with c two is uh, 
KRT which is um, K is ideal case 1.4 R is 0 0.287 10 power of 3 KRT T2 is already determined which is 750 Kelvin so you will get velocity at state 2 is 317 meter per second okay so there is C and then D uh, mass flow rate okay so mass flow rate is a base uh, mass uh, m dot 1 equal to m dot m dot 2 so m dot is already given in the uh, uh, equal to 2.86 kilogram per second okay so the mass flow rate through a converging divergent nozzle with sonic condition at the throat is not affected by the presence of shock wave in the nozzle so therefore the mass flow rate in this case is the same as the determined in example 12.6 which is m dot equal to 2.86 kilogram per second okay so uh, uh, from example 12.8 we can come up with this um, uh, how to say conclusion okay uh, to illustrate the stagnation pressure and velocity decrease while the static pressure temperature density and entropy increase across the, the shock okay the rise in temperature of the fluid downstream of shock wave is of major concern of the aerospace engineer because it creates heat transfer problem on the leading edge of wings and nose cone of space re-entry vehicle and the recently proposed supersonic space plane okay so in this um, uh, improper design of uh, nozzle uh, already caused overheating uh, lead to tragic loss of the space uh, shuttle columbia in february of 2003 as it was re-entering earth and most atmosphere okay so um, that is uh, for normal shock shock wave okay so thank you very much